You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever, because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path, and that will make all the difference. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. You've got to find what you love, and that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to try that one more time. People define success in different ways. One is wealth, image or fame. But ask yourself, are you really happy? Are you content with the way things are? Or do you just want to strive for greater, bigger and better things? I believe success is being a greater person than you were yesterday. My name's Shahid. I'm 28 years old. My hometown's Leeds and I'm a bank manager. If I can do it, you can do it. Join the fitness revolution and be the key to your own very success. Aim for 15 20 reps, then increase it slightly. Myself, I go straight onto 100 kg and do about 12 reps, 12 to 15 reps, and keep them going up. It's important that you keep that pump. So, after 30 second rest between the sets, I've just done four sets on that. We've now gone on to EPA. Now I'm doing the variation and incline. So it's an incline dumbbell press. Again, you don't need to warm up, you can be warm. But it's important that you keep that technique. I'm starting off with 40 kg dumbbell to here. Just do the set then. Straight into a super set with incline flies. Important. For me, I twist out, get a fully stretch of my chest. When I come in, I close that chest, get that extra squeeze in the middle. So then you get that definition in between the chest. Very important. After you do four sets of that, we're going to go over to cable flies and burn our chest out. Feeling the cup in my chest, my arms. It's always important to stretch it out so that it gets to the muscles. To get as much as the massive pump in. It's really, really important to get the striation. And then now, one of my favorite exercises, 
biceps. <laughs> so this is a rope bicep curl. So if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. If it's not in your workout, get it in your workout. It's only a protein monkey weight. Keeping that contraction in your back. The only thing to get a thicker back. Let's put the weight up. Why are we putting the weight up? Because we're fueled by protein monkey. The weight's too heavy, drop the weight. Before I start with squats, I stretch the wrist out. Very important for that flexibility. Start with front squat, as it allows me to get a heavier back squat. So start off small, work my way up, and turn into a back squat. Front squat's hard, but keep on getting at it, comes easier. Let's get straight into this. Make sure your shoulders are pinned back, concentrate your triceps. If you want to get your shoulders in, dip forward and face away from the machine. Again, remember guys, dip forward for shoulders, straight up 